I'd feel so ashamed when I'd get flashbacks of the times that I acted crazy in front of all of my friends at a party, of when I'd flash my boobs and I was drunk, and when I did splits on the bar in a blackout. I'd get idiot shivers for myself when I'd recall all the times I pulled a Michelle, the red-haired desperate chick from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I only dated the guy a week. It was the best week of my life. The reason most relationships have an imbalance in masculine and feminine energy is because us women feel unlovable. Deep down, we hate ourselves. I think of the most embarrassing things that I did like 10 years after they happen and my whole body would feel shame and I'd get aches everywhere and my entire system would panic. It was acting like it was happening right now. You have no idea that when you bring up these horrible memories, you're perpetuating this imbalance and creating really toxic relationships. So what's actually happening is you're continuing to recode and strengthen and reinforce feeling insecure, feeling like you're not good enough being a total people pleaser. This fully imbalances your feminine energy in all of your relationships, and if you don't recode, you're gonna stay unhappy for a super long time. There are only two shifts that you gotta make to balance your masculine and feminine energies in your relationships so you can finally attract the most amazing, delicious, glorious, hot relationship that you deserve that is your birthright that you've always dreamt of. The first one is wipe and reset. Remember in Twilight when Jacob the hot werewolf imprinted on Bella the vampire's daughter and he could not resist? Same shit. I had to let go of the codes that the women in my family imprinted on themselves and then on me. The codes that said, you're worthless, you're a whore, men always come first. It's okay if he abuses you. He said sorry and promised that he would never do it again. Love is hard, love is miserable, love hurts. I fled for my life and had to create an elaborate scheme to get away from my then husband in Australia and come back to Bali. I spent the next five months totally rebelling. I literally felt like I had just got out of prison. I was posting naked pictures on Instagram, messaging anybody, any creepy guy that would give me attention. Blacking out drunk, boozing, throwing up. I was so hungover the next day, doing drugs. I was so empty, but I was so desperate to feel some kind of love. I hit rock bottom five months after I left and I was suicidal. My higher self is like, you're free. This doesn't make sense. You should be thriving. You're not in Australia anymore. He can't hurt you. You're safe. He can't abuse you anymore. Cue the biggest aha moment of my life. I was like, oh my God, it's just my codes. It's not me. This is not who I really am. To wipe and reset, you must deliberately command your subconscious like a queen. There is a concept in psychology called the Bader-Meinhof phenomenon, also known as the frequency illusion. So the idea is that there is an attentional awakening to the object that now holds value to you. So it's like when you buy a new car and you start seeing it freaking everywhere. In other words, focus on what you do want rather than what you don't want. Instead of focusing on the abusive marriage and how much I hated him and him ruining my life, I focused on my dream dude. My new imprints were, I am in a beautiful, loving relationship. It feels safe. He has my back. It's unconditional love. It's juicy. It's delicious. It feels like a sunrise morning surf in Bali when there's no one out and the waves are perfect. It feels like ecstasy. You have to say it just like that though, like a command with conviction. You can't question it or like complain about it. I attracted Chris in two weeks. This is real life and this is forever. I had a client who attracted her dude in four days and they bought a house together, they got engaged and they just had a baby. Every woman who does this and goes all in has a dream relationship. It is impossible not to. The second shift you gotta make to balance your feminine energy in your relationships is clean up the energy with the women in your family. My my first life coach told me that my romantic relationships were directly connected to the relationship I had with my mom. <sighs> so right when I got home from that session, I was messaging my mom. I'm like, hey girl, I love 
love you. How are you? Because <sighs> I was like so desperate for a man to love me. But you can't fake it. The universe knows, which is why I ended up marrying the most abusive boyfriend that I had. I had a client who hard enabled her sister. The relationship was totally conditional. She would always ask for money. So my client would give her money and then feel totally resentful and angry about it after. And then she would spin out into like a broke, scarce energy. Her best friends would compete with each other. They would put each other down. They would talk shit on each other. And of course the dudes she was dating sucked. They would ghost her, the ones that she really liked especially. There was dudes that judged her for things that she did in the past, like having sex. It's like, you did that bro. So we cleaned up the energy with the females in her family and in her life. And in three weeks she attracted her soul dude and they just got married. This doesn't mean that the women in your family have power over you. It doesn't mean that they have to sign a permission slip saying, okay, now you are free to feel lovable and go have the relationship of your dreams. It means you let go of your resentments and your negative feelings toward them. Forgiveness can be super scary because it feels like you're giving someone else permission to do this to you again in the future. Your relationships can only use your feelings to grow. You can choose beautiful, feminine, flowery, magical, vibrant feelings that expand and lift everyone up around you. Or you can choose weeds that are deadly and suck the life out of you and everyone that you love. There are three other areas in your life that are being negatively affected right now by having an imbalance in your feminine energy. In order to live the life of your dreams, you have to balance these. Watch this video to find out what they are and how to balance them.